We are just finishing up the second week of my current six week rapid recovery group. I just did the live meeting and things are going amazing. This group is really going fast. By day 11, we had a huge number of people already pain free already pain-free. One person posted she's been living with the same exact pain for three years, woke up with it gone. We have two people with inflammatory eye conditions, glaucoma. One of them just had a test where there was no more inflammation in her eye on the physical exam. Another person is starting to get vision back from an eye that was totally blind two weeks ago. And we're actually only on day 13, so it hasn't even been a full two weeks. A lot of miracles and amazing progress happening already, and we're just getting started. So I'm very excited about this group. If you didn't make it into the last six week, six week rapid recovery group that just started, we're already enrolling for the one that starts June 8th. So don't miss your chance because I had a lot of people messaging me saying, please, can I get in? And it was already full. I can't help more than 30 at a time. It's just every single person gets individual help every day. And it's just as that's how many people I can help at a time. So if you go to goodbyelupus.com and check out group healing, you can look about uh, look into how to get into that group. In the meantime, I want you to enjoy some tidbits and things that I was teaching them and coaching them through here in the live group to help them take it from where they are now and fast forward even more towards the finish line of having great health. I hope you enjoy it. So cravings are a lot of things, right? So number one, uh, just in terms of addictions, usually the food cravings start to get better as you finish up the third week. Usually they, they, they plateau or they, they peak, sorry, at the end of the second week, beginning of the third week, there's a peak. It's like there's one last shot of your brain begging you to not get healthy and to just stay with the foods you're addicted to. And then it gets better. Usually by the fourth week, people are just saying, wow, you know, I, I'd be happy never eating another jelly bean in my life, right? So, um, so that's one thing. Um, two is how much attention are you putting on that stuff? You know, like I don't walk through uh, stores looking, trying to look at the junk food and all that kind of stuff. So you got to walk by them and just whatever. Like don't walk by them and like, mm. <laughs> you, know? you just go, Ugh. it's like when I used to, I, I was never a sugar, sugar addict. I was a dairy addict, cheese addict. And when I used, when I first gave up dairy, um, I'd have to walk past the dairy aisle at Whole Foods to get to the veggies at the place I used to go to in California. And whenever I would walk through the dairy aisle, what I would do is I would chant under my breath as I walked by, inflammation, disease, lupus, cancer, pus. Like I would just chant that under my breath. Um, not out loud so nobody got, you know, disturbed or scared of me, but it would just be like in my head, chanting that to myself, disease, lupus, cancer, pus, you know, like inflammation. So that as I walk by, because otherwise I'd go, ooh, that looks good, that smells good, ooh, I like Gouda, right? I would just, that would, so I would just do that to myself as I walk by. And nowadays it's kind of funny, it's been, I, I can't even, I don't even know when I last had cheese, I mean, it's over a decade, right? So um, I, uh, now it's automatic. If I see real cheese, because I, I, I make like fake vegan cheeses, but when I see the real thing, I get nauseated immediately. And immediately what goes into my brain is like, it's like a fear response. Like, oh my gosh, it's like, that's illness. It's pus, it's gross. Like, so I don't have to make myself think it, it's immediate. That's illness, pus, cancer, lupus. Like it just, comes in, but I, I, I basically hypnotized myself into that. So you need to have that. You don't want to romanticize it like, oh man, I really want those. You want to be like poison, 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 sickness, sickness, da, 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 and then right past it. I walk on a mission. Like I got to go get my veggies. I got to go get my unsweetened almond milk. I got, you know, like I'm just on a mission. And, and it feels to me just by how you wrote all of that, that there's a part of you that's like, wants to obsess about it. Like I want to look at those jelly beans. I want to, I want to look at the processed food. I want to smell the cooked food. Like there's something, I don't know, I'm feeling it. And maybe I'm, maybe I'm taking that out of nowhere, but that's just what I'm feeling when I read that. So if I'm making that up, pardon me, but that's just what I'm feeling. There's a part of you that is kind of, you're craving it and then you're diving into the craving, right? Versus 
huh, I'm having a craving. I'm going to go get some exercise or I'm having a craving. Let me call a friend that makes me laugh or I'm having a craving. Um, but so what, you know, like cravings come and go. I can just let go of them and move forward. Right. So um, very important to, to not make them into something bigger than they are. Go whatever. I'm having a craving. It's addiction. It's fine. Whatever. I don't want to eat that stuff. I, I want better than that. Jelly beans are poison. I mean, it's pure sugar. Right. So when you look at that and you go, I'm too good for that. Right? I'm too good for that. I'm not doing that. Right. And then do something else to get high. All right. I talked about that earlier in the meeting um, and they will pass. They will pass, but you got to let them go. Don't hold on to them. OK, I hope you really love that. I hope you learned a lot and make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Send me some comments. Let me know what you think about it. I'll see you in the next video.